What's going on, fam? This is where you at, bro. Here to bring to you another workout. And today, we're working out chest, shoulders, and arms. And this week, we're focused on shredding our body fat. So I know this is what you're looking forward to, so let's go. and I'm here to work you out. So for our first two movements we're doing is bench press and then we're gonna superset it with Savine Press. And you've seen this already in our last uh, set of workouts that we have, Savine Press. Now it may look easy, but man, if you do this thing correctly, you will feel an intense burn in your chest. So again, we're working at chest, shoulders and arms. Let's go ahead and hit the bench press and then we're gonna follow it up with Savine Press. Let's go. All right, guys, so a couple cues while I'm doing this. I want you to make sure, guys, that you're keeping your abs tight to protect your core. I want you to arch your back a tad bit. And then on top of that, I want you to press the bar inward. So I want you to try to press it inward. What this is going to do is activate your chest muscle. We want the primary muscle pushing up the weight. Make sure you have good form while doing it. So you should feel the pump of your chest mainly in the center of your chest. So just make sure you have your feet shoulder width apart. Make sure abs, your core is tight. Press them together in a nice slow tempo away from your chest. All right, fam, that's what I'm talking about, boy. You did that thing awesomely. Is that a word? Don't know. But you did a good job because you finished it. Now we're getting ready to move on to push-ups, and then we're gonna do barbell shoulder press. So push-ups is the finisher for the chest, and then we're moving on to our shoulders by doing barbell shoulder press. So with all that being said, fam, let's go and hit it. Yeah, yeah. guys a few cues for this make sure you wear your belt that's the most important thing guys make sure we stay safe while doing a workout I didn't have my belt last time I did a back workout or something that requ requires lower back um, stability and then I hurt myself from not having it so I just want to push make sure guys you wear your belts make sure you wear your knee brace your wraps for your wrist, elbows, or whatever you need to make sure that you stay safe. Because the most important thing, guys, is staying safe while doing your workout. So, other than that, moving on to this. Now, we're doing uh, barbell shoulder press. We want to make sure you keep your core tight. We want to make sure you try to keep your back as straight as possible. We want to make sure you're breathing through this. Do not hold your breath while doing this, guys, because um, less oxygen going into your body, you might faint, pass out, and injure yourself. So, make sure you're breathing through the workout. You want to exhale as you're pushing the weight up and bring it back down. You want to um, suck in, as you would say. You want to um, inhale. Uh, some people might have something other to say other than that, you know, as far as if I'm saying it incorrectly, but that's how I do it. You know, when I'm pushing it up, I exhale. When I'm bringing it down, I'm inhaling. And I try to do that as much as possible. So try to keep your back straight, keep your abs tight. Um, try to Make sure the weight is the weight is in front of you, and allow for your show to do the workout, guys. You know you're gonna use other muscles, muscle groups in this, but make sure that you know you're using primarily is your shoulder to push the weight up. If you're struggling, lower the weight. Don't let your ego cause you to not get a good workout and have bad form. So um, I know earlier I had the 45 on there trying to push it up. My form went a little south, so therefore I dropped it down to 25. Hey, it is what it is. I just got to build up my shoulder muscle. So uh, let's make sure we do that correctly. All right, here we go. 
Old Faithful 25s. That's another one in the bag we just completed. Now we're getting ready to do wide grip upright row and then rear delt cable fly. So for my cable flies, I'm gonna be using bands because I'm, I'm starting to fall in love with these bands so I gotta try to incorporate as much as possible in my workout. So again, wide grip upright row, which I'm doing on the Smith machine, and then we're doing rear delt cable flies, which I'm doing with the bands because the bands are awesome. Let's go. I guess our uh, spacing wider than usual, as you see me have here. Uh, we do not want it shoulder width apart. And what you want to do is you want to stand up straight, as here, as I'm doing, get close to the weight as possible, and try to keep the weight close to your body when you're doing this. And then we're going to just bring it up and then bring it back down. And make sure, again, we're using our shoulders for this workout. This is a shoulder workout. So, uh, enough talking. Let's get there. So, you want to bend over, guys, as comfortably as possible. As you see here, I'm using my band this time. I'm not using uh, the machine or any dumbbells. We're using a band. Bands are an excellent uh, tool to use when you're using your delts. So, that's what I'm using today. You want to bend over, guys. Keep your abs tight for core uh, protection. Uh, you really don't need a belt for this, but I still have my belt. I never took it off. So, here, you want to flare out. Go out right here and make sure your shoulders work in it. guys good job on hitting those last two movements now we have three more to go just three and we're going to make this into a tricep so what the first movement is going to look like is we're doing a dumbbell incline press in which i know i said the last movement for the chest was a push-up but i was wrong we're going to get this is our last movement so for our chest so what it is going to include again is incline dumbbell press and then we're going to do a rope tricep extension and then we're going to do a tricep kick back those are our three movements so we're not taking a break in between we're going to go from one workout or one movement to the next to the next so we gotta hit all three movements before we take our 30 to 45 second break so i'm ready i'm a little excited about it because i normally don't do triceps triceps so i want you guys to help me do it by performing them also so let's go ahead and hit it Control the weight going back up. Don't let it control you, you control it. Make 
make sure, guys, you're pumping them out. Pumping them out and flexing at the bottom. Flexing at the bottom. Good job guys that was a awesome workout guys we just crushed chest shoulders and arms I'm feeling good I make sure that I have my supports uh, things on my bill my wraps or whatever the case may be for these workouts hopefully you did cuz guys stay safe while doing these workouts if you haven't done so already give me a thumbs up hit the subscribe button leave a comment and share this video with somebody else now if you're looking for a workout program that works for you that helps you to shred weight beside the one that we're doing right now i want you to check this workout out right here now these series of workouts that we just previously did it's a it's a one to six weeks you know it's the first um set of workouts from kai green that he created for the shredded program now right now we're on the second one and this one is only going to be for four weeks so we're going to do the same thing for four weeks but guys you are the one who's going to determine how intense the workouts will be. So if you see yourself doing a workout and it's not hard whatsoever, increase the weight. If increasing the weight is not enough, increase the reps. So you determine how much work or effort you're going to put into your work. It's not me. It's no one else. It's you. So make sure, guys, every movement that you do, you get a nice burn and a nice pump in it because that's where the results are going to come. And most importantly, guys, which is not part of this video, you have to eat right. So I'm going to be creating, and I know I've been saying it for a while, I'm going to be creating a video on what to eat. So hopefully I do it today or maybe tomorrow, but I will be creating that because I know we need to know what to eat. It's very important. I didn't drop 33 plus pounds by just working out and then my eating is poor. You have to eat right. That's the number one thing that you have to do. But anyway, hopefully you enjoy the workout. If you did again, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. As always, this is where you at, bro. Signing out. Peace. See you on the next workout.